and it's time to tune in to another exciting episode of Hashtag Trending at Troon. We have a lot of exciting things trending this week, so let's go ahead and get started. Check out who recently stopped by Champion Circle. CBS Sports Golf Analyst David Faraday made an impromptu visit in support of the Eaton High School Invitational. Also, Peggy Nelson, the widow of the late great Byron Nelson, arrives with homemade cookies for the staff in the aptly named Byron Nelson Golf Team. David, thanks for spending the day with us and supporting the greatest game ever played. Everybody loves puppies and we all love golf. President CMAA at Florida State University, Dedman School of Hospitality, Cassidy Smith had the brilliant idea of combining the two for a fun-filled event. Cassidy and other FSU Global Club Management students put on the inaugural Putting with Puppies event. Students were invited to the course to learn more about golf and a few of the adoptable puppies even found permanent homes. So it was a win-win for everyone who participated. Tune in to future episodes of Hashtag Trending at Troon to stay updated on our exciting partnership with FSU. Last week, Sadiat Beach Golf Club hosted the Fatima Bint Mubarak Ladies Open. As part of their Hashtag Women on Course initiative, they asked participants to answer in one word. What makes women great? And the response has been overwhelming. Women are genuinely more emotional and yet that creates a lot of passion in what they do. Women are mentally really strong. We never give up. Dedication. Independence. Hard working. Passion. We are fighters. We care. We can be whatever that we want to be. Which word would you choose? Check out the official Sadiat Beach Golf Club Facebook page to learn more about this fun program that helps grow the game. It's been nearly one year since Alzora Golf Club opened. Let's check in with Darren King to see how business is going. Business has been really strong, Scott. Yeah, particularly from the local market. Uh, we. Naturally you go through that honeymoon period when you first open a golf course and there's that intrigue from all of the golfers, uh, from those that live in the UAE that they want to try the new Nicholas design golf course and being managed by Troon there's always a, an expectation that uh, you know the course condition is going to be world class and, and Jack Nicholas uh, certainly designs a magnificent golf courses around the world. So to be the first course in six years to open that was always going to attract a lot of attention and. So we, we went through that honeymoon period and, and what's pleasing uh, to understand is that those that had played the course are coming back for more. Things are looking up for the first and only golf course in Ajman. Those are just some of the things that we have trending at Troon this week. But before we go, last week I asked you what happens when my ball lands in a divot. Unfortunately, I still have to play the ball as it lies. This week we have another rules question for you. What happens if you accidentally hit in front of your designated T marker? Leave your answer in the comment section below and tune in next week to find out.